guess I just got up to. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We do something a little fun today. Uh, we're gonna be working on the XR100, and uh, I got new gear for it. So uh, this is actually a 46 tooth. It's got a 50 tooth on there, and first gear just is really short. And it doesn't really top out, you know, I'm not looking to make this thing like a speed run bike or anything, but a little, you know, to have a little more top end would be nice. So, so uh, stay tuned. That's what we're going to do. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. If you come on back, check out what we got going on. Like I said, always doing stuff and, you know, just fixing things uh, just, to, just so we can ride them around here. Pretty much how it goes. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to hit the, the smash the like button. And we always appreciate that. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so uh, what we got going on, I, I got uh, the XR100 warm. It's warming up right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it for a spin. I got uh, another phone on there that's got uh, GPS speedometer. So, we're going to see how fast it goes. And I'm going to try my best to keep it at the right RPMs. And because, uh, you know, I don't have a tachometer on it. But I'm going to try and do my best. I'm going to put it in a fourth gear. And then I'm not gonna wind it out too much, just gonna, you know, see how fast it goes roughly. And then we're gonna put the new sprocket on and then take it for another spin and see what happens. So alright. This here I'll show you the setup. I got my GoPro Hero 7, and then on the bike itself, I got uh, the speedometer. I don't know how well it's gonna be able to be seen, but you can see it, I guess, here, but we'll see how it's uh it's able to be seen in the video, but well, we should be able to record it either way because it'll have it down at the bottom. So, all right, so we're recording. Let's go ahead and take the bike for a spin. Calvin, what do you think this speed's gonna be? Any idea? You see cars, the speed limit down the street is 25 miles an hour. So based off of the cars that we see go up and down the street, what do you think this will do? Like 20 maybe? 20? Is that your final guess? Like 20 or somewhere in the late teens. Okay, I'm going to go maybe 30. Oh. Okay. See, this first gear is real short. Let's go ahead and start it. See how short it is? Well, maybe I'm going to have to use my phone phone. Because this isn't my phone phone. <laughs> So let's switch this real quick. So it wasn't working on my old phone because I don't have a plan. Stupid me, I didn't realize that. Okay, let's try this again with my phone. Give me a good baseline. Looks like we hit 30.
Okay, there it is. I hit 30 the first time and then I think like 28 or 29 coming back. So we're gonna change the sprocket out and then see what happens. And hopefully that first gear will be a lot longer. And whatever top speed, whatever top speed. I'm just, my concern was the first gear. So it's just too short. It's, you know, you could barely get moving. You have to shift in a second. Yeah, so you don't wind out the gear and mess it up. Exactly. So, all right, let's get that switched out and then we'll come back. Okay, so we're all done putting the new sprocket on there. This is a 46 tooth here. Well, you can't really see it, but it's uh, JTR 1204, 1204 46. So we got that on there, everything's snugged up, chain tension is set, axle's locked in, brake is set up. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take it for a ride and see what happens. Okay, so we're getting ready to take her for another spin and see what the difference is. It's gonna be interesting to see how the first gear reacts, that's for sure. Gonna warm it up a little bit. Eh, it still feels pretty warm, so. We got the digital speedometer on this time. We'll let it warm up for a minute, just to be safe. He's not burning any more oil. So we're pretty happy about that. We put a new set of uh, piston rings in and honed the cylinder. And then uh, we put a new exhaust on there. And then I cleaned up the cylinder head and uh, went through the carburetor, cleaned it out. It wasn't wanting to idle uh, at the beginning of this year and at the in the fall last year, and it was because of the carburetor. Pilot jet was pretty dirty, so got her all cleaned up. She's idling real nice. Throttle response is crisp. All right, once this car passes, we're gonna go ahead and see how first gear is. I'm excited. Whoa, yeah. A little better. Oh, let's go ahead and start the trip. So it says 34 miles an hour. We are happy about that. So let's see. Um, I need to get a speedometer or a, a tachometer on here as well. That way I can tell what the RPMs are. That give us a really accurate recording. So comparison. first year but
got up to? <laughs> 39. I probably could have got the 40. I got the 36 going that way. Not bad, huh? All right, uh, if you want to go get your gear out, well, maybe we'll go get mom first. And then if you want to get your gear on, you can ride it then. Sound good? All right.